Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can not only move or reposition objects over time, but also transform them. So here I've started with a still image, it's a composite of multiple layers, and you'll notice when you first look at the timeline, I see the animation timeline. I want to change that to the video timeline, so right underneath this first frame there's an icon. Clicking that, you can see now I have a video timeline. And what I want to do is I want to create a glow that starts behind the person, fades in, and then fades out. Now, in order to do that, let's go to my Layers panel. I'm on the top layer, and I want to add this new layer on top of that, so I'll click the New Layer icon. We'll go ahead and rename this. I'll rename this Glow. And then I'm going to use the Gradient tool, so I'll tap the G key to get my gradient. But I need to select the Radial Gradient, so I'll click the second icon. And I also want to select the second default gradient, which is Foreground to Transparent. Now, when I click and drag out the glow here, you can see that it's going from white, which was my foreground color, to that transparency. Now, I just want to reposition this so that it's further down on my Layers panel, because I want to make sure that it falls behind that figure. Now, if we take a look at the timeline, and we scroll down here to the glow layer, and we use the triangle in order to see the options that we can change over time, you can see that it only says Position. Well, that's fine if I simply want to move the glow, but in this case, I want to make the glow start small and then expand, get larger, and then shrink down again. So the way that I need to do that is I need to convert this layer into a smart object. So I can choose Layer, Smart Objects, and then Convert to Smart Object. Now that it's a smart object, if we use the disclosure triangle, you can see that it no longer says Position, but instead it says Transform. So I'm at the beginning of my timeline here. I'll go ahead and click on the stopwatch in order to tell Photoshop to keep track of the layer, the glow layer, and its current transformation. So let's go ahead and make this small. I used Command T or Control T in order to get the free transform, and I'll just make that a little smaller and tap Enter or Return. Then I'll move forward in the timeline, and Photoshop's still keeping track of this layer and the transformation, so I'll use Command or Control T again, and make this a little bit larger. And you'll notice that I made the glow large to begin with, because when Photoshop transforms up any pixel-based layer, I want to make sure that the original pixel-based layer was large enough so that when Photoshop scales it up, all that information is still there, so Photoshop doesn't have to make up any information. All right, when I hit Enter or Return, you'll see that Photoshop has added another keyframe in my timeline. And then I can move forward again. Let's go ahead and go all the way to the end and use Command Tree or Control T in order to free transform this and make it smaller. Tap Enter, and then we can go back to the beginning of the timeline by clicking on this icon. Tap the space bar in order to play that, and you can watch that glow get larger and then smaller over time. So that's how easy it is to transform a layer over time. You just have to remember to turn any pixel-based layer into a smart object, and then you can transform it. Thanks for watching. I'm Julianne Cost.